Happy Monday, St. Luke congregation. Hope you had a great weekend, celebrated Father's Day. Maybe it was a time that you especially think about uh, the love that the Heavenly Father has for us. Uh, fathers in this world love only perfectly. Our Heavenly Father has loved us with a perfect love in Jesus Christ. But I hope it was a great weekend for all of you. Uh, it was a good weekend for our congregation. We began to worship together again in person. Uh, we had 60-some people in worship on Thursday evening outdoors, uh, 60, 70 uh, at Meridian Campus, about a dozen at Christ Campus on Sunday morning. And then, of course, we had our key Swahili and our Arabic services a little later. So it was a good Sunday for us as we begin to come back together, but still maintaining our live stream worship. We know that uh, not everyone's ready to be back together, and we're going to do that slowly. So all in all, thank you to everyone who was involved, both uh, physically here, also online, and the many volunteers that continue to uh, support us as a worshiping congregation. Uh, so again, this coming weekend, uh, we'll have Thursday service at 7 p.m. outdoors, Sunday morning in person at Meridian Campus at 9.30, in person at Christ Campus at 9.30. Most of that's a live stream uh, service and then uh, live stream at 9.30 for those uh, watching or participating from home. Our Kiswahili service is at 2, our Arabic service is at 6. Now the theme for this past Sunday was the fruit of the Spirit, specifically joy. Uh, God wants us to have joy. Pastor Sutton had a great message about earthly joy and heavenly joy. Uh, Jesus said this, this is from John chapter 15. He said, these things I have spoken to you that you may have joy, uh, that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be full. God wants us to be filled with, with joy, uh, the certainty of his love and his power and his presence for us, that he is working all things together for our good. One of my favorite passages uh, in all scriptures from Habakkuk chapter 3, and I think that speaks well, especially with that distinction Pastor Sutton had about earthly joy and heavenly joy. Uh, sometimes the earthly joy goes by the wayside, but the, the heavenly joy, our relationship with God, uh, uh, transcends all of that. Uh, I always think these words just about sing. Uh, though the fig tree does not blossom and there is no fruit on the vine, though the olive crop fails and the fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen and no cattle in the stall, Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will take joy in God of my salvation. God the Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to go on the heights. We continue to live in a time that has many challenges and difficulties. There might be all kinds of things that are trying to steal joy away from you. But we have that heavenly joy that God came down from heaven in Jesus Christ, uh, watches over us, protects us, forgives us, redeems us. One day will take us to be with him face to face. If God is with us, who can be against us? There are so many great passages that speak about this so that you and I, no matter what, might be people of joy. As you go about your week, uh, let that joy uh, spill through you into those around you. There are many joyless people out there. Uh, many people who are running on empty in the joy meter. But as the people of God, trusting in God's love, experiencing his joy in Jesus, one of the ways that we witness is that our joyfulness uh, goes through our lives. That we can touch the lives and give uh, hope, peace, confidence, and joy to others in Jesus. Uh, maybe this week, do two things. Uh, contemplate the joy that you have but also see how you can share that joy with those around you. Now, in these Monday uh, videos, uh, greetings to the congregation, I've been giving different Bible passages you might read for the week if you don't already have a plan. Uh, here's what I'd recommend this week. Try reading an extensive, extensive section of Jesus' teaching in the Gospel of John. Specifically, try reading John 13 through 17. Uh, these are discourses that take place at the Last Supper. 
And it's in this discourse that we have the, the words that we're using on Sunday morning about how I am the vine, you are the branches. So if you're looking for a Bible passage or a Bible section to read this week, let it be that, John 13 through 17. May God bless your week. May he continue to fill you with joy, and may that joy spill through your life into the lives of others. God bless us as a congregation. We come together to grow in knowing the peace and the power of the cross.